I want to have the conversation about what I was supposed to have been talking about um, at the conference before I got um, flights were delayed and stranded and couldn't couldn't get on and get a chance to present. Here is what, as we get ready to move into, I would say something that's new. We're moving into something that's new. What, what are you talking about, Coach Dan? So for the past three years, we've had the full crown jewel dispensary. And the full crown jewel dispensary was our mainstay of individuals being able to come into Wakana and participate. It was really based on one thing. It was based on um, the CBD products that we had. That's what it was based on. However, as, as you all know, over the past year and a half or so, we've been dealing with flat belly. Um, and we've been dealing with the flat belly lifestyle. Now we have a package. We have an opportunity for individuals to get connected with Wakana with, through a trillion dollar industry. Weight loss, I believe it's a trillion dollar industry. And I'll do my own fact checks to find out if it's not, it's definitely in the hundreds of billions of dollars. As an industry, everybody is concerned about weight loss. How do I know? Today, just a few moments ago, um, when I had my little dad chat with my daughter, she held up 10 fingers. I said, what does those 10 fingers represent, princess? She said, 10 pounds. I said, what do you mean? She said, I lost 10 pounds. I said, doing what? She said, I lost 10 pounds. Um, I lost 10 pounds by working in a warehouse and by eating one meal a day. I said, baby, you're looking good. She said, that's right. I'm getting to my goal. My 10-year-old said, dad, I've lost three pounds. And I'm not, I'm only eating protein and vegetables. So my point to you is every generation is concerned about their weight. And, and their concern about many, many are concerned about their well-being. When you look at the full crown jewel dispensary, the attractiveness, it attracted a certain group of people. And that group of people are people that was interested in CBD. People that are interested in the cannabis industry, which was a fastest, one of the fastest growing industries on the planet right now. But it, it potentially left out people that was concerned about weight loss because our products didn't necessarily address that issue as well. But here we are today. Here we are today with a unique opportunity, a unique selling proposition that you could get in the industry of the CBD industry and the weight loss industry all at the same time in helping people lose weight and feel better about themselves. So I, I, I want you to begin to process that there is a whole nother, if I, I hope I, uh, uh, I said that right. Yeah, I said it cause the right, because that's why I said it. There's a whole nother, there's a whole nother market for you to tap into and get people actively engaged in what you're doing here with Wakanda. Is, is this making sense? And so you, I want you to look at these opportunities and then position yourself to seize the moment. You should now redo your top 100 list. Redo your top 100 list and target individuals that are in the weight loss industry. Target individuals that need to lose weight. These are the individuals that you want to target. Target individuals that's in the, fit, in the fitness industry, in the health and fitness industry. 
individuals that may or may not ever touch the CBD, but guess what? They want to see the results that we're yielding with the flat belly lifestyle. That's what we want to do. That's another unique opportunity. Another unique opportunity that we have um, is the CBD cream, the, 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 the massage oil. That opens up another opportunity for massage therapists, day spas, all of those type of things. You can show them, you could go in and say to them, hey, listen, how about how, what if I showed you how to increase your uh, baseline massage services by 20%? What do you mean? Well, if the average massage baseline is 60 for an hour, and that's baseline, that's not for those of us that decides to go and spend $120, $140 for uh, a 60 or 80 minute massage. But if the baseline is $60 and you say that you could get a CBD massage for $72, you just increased their massage services by 20% using your product. And then what you do is you create a special feel. You call the massage. I'm telling you how to talk to the spas, telling you how to talk to the massage therapist, the pain reliever. You call the massage the pain reliever. Are y'all getting this? $72. Now you're going to tell them, after the massage, as the pain is being relieved, you sell them on, this is how you position them not only as a customer, but this is how you position them as a distributor. I can show you how to get the massage oil for up to 50% off and be able to sell it to your customers because it works. Y'all talk back to me. You know, um, I'm going to start asking that these trainings be where I can see everybody's face because I want to make certain that we're, 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 we're good. I want to make certain that what I'm saying is making sense. I want to be able to... Is Y'all talk back to me. Is this helpful? Is this making sense to you? Um, is there a level of understanding? Yes. Um, are there any questions? Lot of sense. Thank, thank you so much, Kathy. Because, because we, we, we're not, I, I don't want to just throw this stuff out and you're not grasp holding what I'm saying. No, I actually so see, those, those I of you see that are in my mind having that conversation and putting the numbers because for business people like that, you really do have to put the numbers out there. Like, this is what you could make instead of this exactly and and, and here is here is what i want to uh, want to share um let me ask you kathy do you have the ability in a quick way to bring everybody to the screen yeah and if the answer is no then we won't worry about it i can do that but i, I would like us to begin to have a more interactive um session So um, as I, here is what I want you to get. Go ahead. As I promote people to panelists, y'all, you guys can look in the corner and it'll say the host is trying to, yep, they're coming in. You see them? Perfect. I see it. Now, if y'all don't mind, since so I won't see these little uh, interesting people, if you don't mind, those of you that can turn your cameras on, there we go. Hey there, Tammy. There we go. Hey, Miss Shirley. How are you? Coach I am empowered. It's good you to know you are. Good to know you, you all are here with me. <laughs> Absolutely. Love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Now, 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 y'all, y'all talk to me. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? I am grasping yeah. what you're saying. I'm grasping totally. it. Good. 
totally. Good. Brother Fontaine, what's your thoughts? I I I, I understand. I I, I just, you said call it okay. Uh, you said call the pain massage. I mean the pain massage. The what? pain reliever. Pain reliever. Okay. So basically the pain reliever. That's how you position it to the spas or the massage therapist. Okay. Now, here, here's Sometimes what I want I you to understand. On, I don't want my big face on here. Oh, it's all right. You're doing all right, Anna. All right, just um, here is, here, here, here's what I want <laughs> you to understand. I want y'all to grasp this now. Listen to this closely. This is going to be key. Nobody wants to buy anything. That's true. Nobody wants to buy another thing. Mm -hmm. But everybody will, but business owners will buy an idea. Yep. Because the idea is what's going to help drive their business. Mm -hmm. So this may be something when you're, when you're out here positioning yourselves, you have to position yourself with an idea. Mm -hmm. I, I, I remember when I first started in sales, I was about 21 years old. When I first started in sales, I was about 21 years old. How old was I? 21. 21. I was 21 years old selling professionally. And I was selling radio advertising for a group of radio stations in the Chicago market. Um, I, was the youngest, I was the youngest salesperson on the team. And I had been working for about um, the first 30 to 45 days on the job. And I did not make any money. Nobody was buying from me. I got pulled into the office and they said, hey, you know, you got to get these numbers up. We'll do whatever we can to help. But we brought you in here to sell. And essentially, they gave me about 30 days. I went on a 30-day probation. Okay. And so what I realized fundamentally was wrong is I was trying to sell advertising. I was trying to sell radio advertising to customers. And I realized nobody wanted to spend money on advertising. So I stopped selling. So what I did was I sponsored a luncheon with business owners and pastors because I could sell the pastors radio airtime as well. And I sold ID, I sold them an idea. Mm -hmm. I sold them how, and when I sold them the idea, in selling them the idea, I showed them the results. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I, I painted a picture. You heard Kathy say earlier that she can see the conversation in real time. That means she's seeing the results. I showed them the results as I sold them the idea. And that's what they bought. They bought, re they bought the idea. And when they bought the idea, they eventually saw the results. So guess what happened? That first 30 to 45 days where I didn't sell anything and I didn't hit my sales goals was the first and the last time ever that I didn't reach my goals and I was $10,000 above goal every month for the next three years. Mm. The difference was I stopped selling advertising. I start becoming creative and selling ideas. I went from being a salesperson to a, cons to a marketing consultant. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. When you are positioning yourself with some of our products become a, cons a business consultant to help existing business owners with an existing customer base to increase their profitability and increase the services they provide by the use of your product. It's no different than a salesperson that's selling hair care products going to a beauty supply store saying, I need for you to um, buy my product and put it on your shelf. You got to answer the question, why should I do this? 
So what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm trying to set a framework. I'm seeking to set a framework for you guys to be able to understand how to position the product differently based on the audience that you're talking to and how these new packages create an opportunity for you to talk to a whole new audience. And sure. to piggyback on that, it, op it, op it uh, opens up an opportunity to go back to people that absolutely would not touch anything CBD but want to have better health. That's right. And what you do then is you send those that said no's, you send them the link to the mm -hmm. video testimonials. Now, let me, let me, let, let me share, share this with you. Um, remember, I've told you guys before that no simply means that you have not given them the, the, a reason to say yes. Y'all remember that? Yes, sir. Yeah. When people tell you no, it's just simple. That just means you haven't given them an opportunity to tell you, to tell you yes. So, so now, per, per Kathy, to her point, now you have a unique opportunity to go back and say, hey, I understand that you wasn't interested in CBD. And I understand that you are interested in health. And one of the things, watch, watch how our position is. One of the things that we've been doing over the past year is testing a program to see, to measure its effectiveness. And what I would like for you to do is check out these testimonies. And tell me what you think. I love it. Now see that? I love it. I like that. I, did, I didn't want to bring it to you until I knew that it was. Uh-oh, you froze, I, Dan. Can you hear me now? Can yeah, you hear me now? Yeah, but it sounds yeah, like you good. You good. It sounded like you were saying that I didn't want to bring it to you until we uh, had the the proof, but then um, also until I had tried it myself, how about that? And then share your testimony. I love it, Dan. Absolutely, because guess what? There's three positions that you sell from. There's three positions that you sell from. See people, when they, when they miss these nights, and I think part of it is our fault because we wait, we get, we get late on, we're, we're late getting on. And we're gonna do, we gotta do better than that. But 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 people miss this stuff. There's three positions, Fontaine, that you sell from. You you sell from I heard, I heard someone say. You sell from I know based on your own position and, 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 and you sell from I've experienced. So one position is based on what somebody else has said. Another position is based on your knowledge base. And the third position is based on your experience, which means what you've experienced personally. Now, the number one form of advertising is what? Wow. Word of mouth. And the greatest word of mouth comes from a what? Person that used the product. Product of the product. <laughs> yeah. Or, or if we was in church, Revelation 12 would say, and they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So testimony, which is word of mouth, is the greatest form of advertising. Correct. Right. 
So when somebody else is selling it for you, guess what? Through their testimony, you don't have to sell. Right. What you got to do, here we go. Your job is to get the people to listen to everybody's testimony. Correct. So here, here's the call to action as I got it, as I get ready to close. And, and I'm out here at my son's football field because I've now <laughs> become an assistant football coach. I don't know what's oh, going yeah. on. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> we yeah, we go always so pray for you. So you're saying multitasking <laughs> is absolutely something you love. We're we going we to hey, always listen, pray for you. Listen, <laughs> listen. Listen, oh, listen. I'm going to tell y'all a secret. I am a daddy first. Yes, you are. Yes, you I am. am a, the greatest gift that God has ever given me is the gift of fatherhood. The reason yeah. I pursue freedom is because yes, I, I wanted to be a great father. And so um, here, here, as, as I get ready to go, I, I, I want you, your takeaway, your task, is I need each one of you on the screen to get 10 people by the weekend to listen to that video testimony. Yes, sir. Okay. And watch what happens. 10 people. And watch what happens. All right? Love it. Yes. yes, sir. Now, real quick, I know I said I'm about to go. We got 60 seconds. I got to get out of here. It's getting late. But this is what I want to take. When you start moving that pack, the flat belly lifestyle pack, it doubles your bonus. Yep. From 200 to 400 dollars. Yellow. Five pack, five packs is two thousand dollars additional dollars in your pocket. Five. Just five. Go, go tell. So the more people hear the testimony, because the word of mouth is the greatest form of advertising the more people you're going to be able to position to buy the pack. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I got to go. I love y'all. Be it's been great. Love it's you been great. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks, Coach Dan. Thanks, Thanks Coach Dan. Y'all welcome. Appreciate you, sir. Stay safe and focus. Kathy, how can I get the video? Video of what? From the tonight. I mean, the recording from tonight. Um, email me at Kathy at Wakana. Email you. Uh huh. Um, now okay. the other video, uh -oh. the other video that they're talking about. That's the flat I've belly video she problems, showed us. So I'm getting conference. nothing. That's the flat belly video that Melissa posted. Kathy at Wakana. Yeah, Melissa posted um the video um Anna. Yeah. I got most of it, but I, I in Facebook. Yep. Okay. I, yeah, she posted it in our uh, Wakana HQ group. Okay. Group? okay. Okay. I'm fighting with computers here. I'm Don't on. Worry a about it. You got it. Little bitty something now. <laughs>